Hello, hello, and welcome back to Hitman 3 and the featured contracts. And today's contract is the deepest dive, 5 of 5. This one is provided to us by Minmax, and we have two targets available to us and only one exit. So today's briefing, this is IT47, the deepest, most thorough contract you have ever carried out. Your first target is the self-betterment aficionado Jeff Cork, Minmax's outside man. His love language is words of affirmation. You need to remind him that yours is physical touch. Your final target is Ben Hansen, the mastermind behind the Minmax dynasty. I think it's time you topple him from his penthouse throne, literally. Finish it and wipe his empire of positive gaming entertainment off the map. And as I mentioned, today's contract has been provided to us by Minmax. So for this challenge, the only things we will be required to bring with us will be some coins for a distraction and a silence pistol to take out a camera or two. So right from the start, if anybody has a contract they wish for me to attempt, they can leave the contract ID in any of the comments of any of the Hitman videos and I will do what I can. So right from the start and off the bat, we are going to make our way up into the atrium and towards the black and gold bar. Uh, both of our targets are up in the penthouse area, so we need to make our way up there. You can start up there as a waiter if you wish, but I thought I'd start at the beginning. So once we get to the black and gold bar, we're going to make our way around into the storeroom behind, where we will find one lone waiter, and we are going to sneak up behind said waiter and render him unconscious. And once we have this guy safely asleep, we can then hide him in the closet provided and take his outfit. And this will get us around the lower levels of the building. So once we have the waiter's outfit on, we can make our way through the double doors at the back of the room, up the stairs and around to our right, through the double doors and up above the tech area, or through the tech area above the art installation and up over the balcony area to the wards of the penthouse making sure you grab this crowbar on the way, I nearly always forget it. And once we can get up over the balcony we can render this guard unconscious if he's in this position for you. He was literally about to leave as I got to him, so you may have to wait for him. And once we have him unconscious we can drag him into the storage room here and provide him with a safe locker to hide in. We're going to take his outfit and we're going to take that hammer as well. We may not need it, but it's useful to have. So we're going to exit the storage room, take out the camera halfway down the corridor, make our way towards the staff entrance to the penthouse and bust open the door. So we need a letter opener and there is one on the desk where Carl Ingram goes and sits and does some dictora uh, dictoriation or whatever the word is where he talks into a little machine. So we're going to make our way around to the left and into the office area and here is our target Carl Ingram. So we're just going to grab the letter opener from the table there, make our way up to the top of the penthouse. There are a number of enforcers around, but if you take this route you should avoid them all nice and easily. There's one in this area, and there was one out in this area, so you may have to wait them out. But luckily my timing was such that I was able to run straight through all the way around and into this bathroom here. And we're waiting now for a waiter to arrive. You can see him on instinct making his way over. 
and once he's in the bathroom we're just going to close the door behind him, render him unconscious. We're going to hide his body in the crate provided and we're going to take his outfit. So we can now move on to our first target and that will be the waiter in the bedroom area just out the back here, there he is. So we need to kill him with the letter opener. So if we do it in that room, the guard in the next room will see us. So we're going to lure him with our coins out onto this balcony. So we're just going to throw our coin over yonder. It's a bit too far to the right. We haven't got his attention. So we're going to throw one more over to the building. Nope, still nothing. Let's throw one right along the wall here. That should get him. There we go. So when he comes out to investigate, we can then get behind him before we pull out our letter opener and then stab him with the letter opener. We can't throw it at him. We have to stab him with it. So once he bends down for the coins, select your letter opener, stab him in the back and we want to throw him over the balcony over in this corner because if you throw him over next to the building he lands on a balcony below and gets spotted that one down there so we're going to collect up our coins because we're not quite done with them yet we want to place one coin on the balcony so with anywhere around here will do because this one will be an accident fall it doesn't matter if he lands on the balcony below. So basically what we're going to do here is set a coin trap. So one coin on the floor leading to the balcony, one coin on the balcony. And all we have to do now is wait. And Carl Ingram will come along. Uh, eventually he will make his way into the room just beyond the doors here. And take a drink and it's at that point we're going to throw our final coin over into the corner of the balcony and he will come out to investigate and spot the coins so there he is now just in the outer office or the bedroom area I believe that's the outer office and this is the bedroom area and he will come in shortly when he's finished chatting into his little machine Oh, there he goes, he's now chatting into his little machine. So once he's finished with that, he will make his way into this room for a drink. And we can then distract him. So here he comes now. So once he gets to the bar and picks up his glass. And we're not even going to wait for him to pick up his glass, he's in position. So we're going to throw our final coin. That will get his attention and when he comes out to investigate we're just going to walk up behind him and wait for him to go and collect the coin on the banister or the balcony. So he's got the first coin, he's got the second coin, he's moving in for the third coin and we can now push him off the edge. And he's took two of our coins with us, so we'll have that one back. So there we go, that is the Deepest Dive featured contract. And all that's left for us to do is to make good our escape. And the only exit available is the skydiving exit over by where the little golf set is. So, once again, if anyone has a contract for me to complete, please feel free to post the contract ID in the comments. I have been Anubis and I will see you all in the next video.